Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. All right, Virgo. I don't like how that's angled. There, that's better. Virgo, we're throwing them down for you for October round two. So, two swords reversed. Hmm. We'll see if it comes back out. Some of you might be faced with an impossible decision. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. And even though this really isn't meant for cross watchers, because this particular reading with the spread that I am doing, trying out a new spread this time around, by the way, um, goes more about you and what you need to do to achieve your goals and get to your highest good versus you know <laughs> the other person involved but all time and energy both fluid and all things still can and maybe vice versa so everybody's always welcome at my table if you're new thanks for coming by if you think you might want to come by more be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I love seeing your face. Don't forget to leave a comment. Hit the like button while you're at it too. It all helps the channel. It is all greatly appreciated. It helps the messages get to the people who need them. The moon. Ooh. Could be Pisces you're dealing with. Possibly some secrets. The path may not be lit, Virgo. Okay. Before I invoke the cards and throw them down, two more things we got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care if they're my cards or somebody else's. And two, if it's not your message on the table, just leave it on the table and walk away. Okay? All right. I think we're probably shuffled. But one more goodie. I think we're going to call it. Okay. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Mother, with Holy Spirit, Spirit guides, Archangels, I ask you for any message here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for what's left of October. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me again today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. And I ask that you help me use it to bring Virgo to the highest possible spiritual good and put them in their highest possible spiritual path. Virgo, what are you so damn anxious about? This poor girl's nerves are shot. She ain't slept in days. What the hell's going on? All right. All right, let's talk about strengths and weaknesses for a second. What's your strengths? Nine of wands. You always get back up. Virgos just be like, you know what? Pick up, dust off, move on. No big deal. It ain't no thing. It's a good strength to have. What's your weakness? Sometimes you don't wait around long enough to see what happens. Sometimes you walk away a little bit too quick. Hmm. You ain't got patience for it. Okay. What do you want? Queen of Wands. <laughs> oh, do I share the thought that just came through my head? Hmm? You want what you want and you want it now. Okay. It could have to do with something of a certain nature that I attempt to dance around on this channel. It could be sex based. I don't know. I don't know. They talk about action. They talk about passion. Sometimes action, passion be the same thing. Take it however resonates, friends. What's gotta go? Queen of Cups in the reverse. Being emotionally negate. Hmm. Wow. Virgo, sometimes you gotta let it hurt. What's coming in? Well, I don't like that. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. What are you going to do? 
Prince of Wands reversed. What's the outcome? The Seven of Wands. Defeating your inner demons. Huh. All right, Virgo. All right, the so first thing I'm going to address is this star reversed here, because I don't like that at all for what's coming in for you. That's a lack of healing. Ace of Pentacles. A new start in something potentially prosperous and abundant. But what good is it if you don't heal? Oh, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Right on. It's a process. Being good, able, and abundant of yourself. Okay. Okay. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Wands. Mm, okay. Sometimes things come quickly and effortlessly. Empress, Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, Four of Pentacles. That is a mixed bag. Things grow. You're emotionally well off. You're okay. Often victorious. And then there's that Four of Pentacles. Don't always let things go. Sometimes you don't let people in very easily. Sometimes you forget to let the blessings in. That Nine of Wands can be walls as well. Is there a Virgo out there living inside their walls? All right, what's the Seven of Pentacles reversed here for the weaknesses? The devil. The Page of Cups. The nine of wands, sorry, the king of wands, two of cups, ten of wands. Not every connection you get into is going to be a burden. Not every connection you get into is going to be toxic. Not everyone has an ulterior motive or an agenda. It's not always going to end badly. I think that's what stresses you out. That's when rising up becomes building walls. You don't let good things in. 
or you don't wait around long enough to see if something's going to be good or bad, you see one red flag, this isn't necessarily a red flag. It almost feels like if one person came in with one nasty habit that some old person used to have, it's automatically a red flag and you run for the hills. This feels easily triggered. All right, let's go into this Queen of Wands. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. One more on that. That's the Knight of Wands upright in the Knight of Cups reversed. Page of Pentacles, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. This is almost like order of importance. One second. Hold on. Sorry, I had to deal with a work issue real quick. Where were we? Okay. This is feeling like what you don't want is commitment. Got the King of Wands up here in your weaknesses, but it's like you almost keep blocking it out. I've seen the red flags that don't necessarily exist. It's almost like you're afraid of the cup. It's like eventually, just not right now. Just not right now. Which is fine because I think you need to be able to be on your own first. All right, let's address this Queen of Cups reversed for what's got to go. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? <laughs> oh my. Um, <clears throat> oh, he really does represent all four aces, doesn't he? Um, Queen of Wands again. Yeah. The lack of emotion. It's okay to feel. But too many feelings get you all confuzzled. Confused. The cops freak you out because you never know what's in them, Virgo. Two of Swords reversed. You'd rather be blind to it. You don't want to make the decision. You'd rather not have to deal with it at all. Was it you got? No, it was Scorpio. This was a couple months back. Something about calling in sticks instead of cups. I think deep down you want the pentacle. Deep down. But you want sticks, too. You, you want the freedom. You want the freedom of, of the wands and the fire. But you don't want the feelings and the emotions of the cops. But deep down, you want the stability of the pentacles. What's got to go is what you keep manifesting. You need to readjust your manifestation here. 
It's okay to feel. It's healthy to feel. But it hurts and it causes anxiety and therein lies the problem. Why is the Prince of Wands reversed here for what you gotta do? This is the same card, by the way. Same card. I, I feel like... <laughs> wow! Oh, wow, Virgo! You're making me blush a little bit. Just throwing that out there. You make me blush. There it is. Nine of Swords reversed. King of Cups. Justice, Five of Swords. Why the Five of Swords? The Hermit. There's your card, Virgo. It's all about coming into balance and readjusting a thought process. It's about in a healthy way, being able to process emotions. Really going down inside and processing. You have to pick which path you want. And I mean, you gotta go deep. It's clear up here. You want stability eventually. But you have to have it within yourself first. I want one more on this star reversed. Give me one more on this star reversed. Three of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah, more Pentacles, more stability. <clears throat> Being able to get to a point where you can lay a foundation to put those pentacles on. You have a lot of potential to be emotionally healthy in and of yourself, but you got to get over your anxiety issues. You got to stop putting up your walls. It's okay to let emotions in. It's just how you process it. Why is the Seven of Wands here for the outcome? The Tower reversed. Taking charge. Coming up out of the ashes of long fallen towers. Rebuilding the tower the way you want it built. Two of Pentacles. Finding and attaining balance. Accepting change, choosing the most productive and abundant path, wheel of the year, allowing destiny to play out. You fight it so hard that it causes you like crippling anxiety. Some of you might have to let go of the wheel. Some of you may have to park the car and see how the sunset plays out. Woof. All right. Healing comes. Bottom of the deck. Healing does come. Let's get some advice, friends.
you can't stay hung up on past connections if you want to manifest new stability. You have to accept what has happened. Stop seeing red flags everywhere in order to move into something new. Five of Pentacles reversed King of Swords. It's it's okay. It's okay to be on guard, but don't be so guarded against anything emotional whatsoever that you permanently stay out in the cold. Or you permanently leave anything that could possibly be good in the cold. Oh gosh. Hold on. Okay, where was I? I hate it when I get interrupted. Anyway, I think we're just going to call it a read, Virgo. We're just going to call it a read. Okay. Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. It's not bad news. Hmm. I love you. Thanks for coming by. And I will catch you guys in your next read. Be blessed.